A very warm welcome to all my lovely audience. Today, I see Tales is in conversation with Nayan Bhasar. She is an amazing author, a script writer. While chasing her dreams to become a scientist, she is also a great Spanish speaker. What a lovely, lovely introduction! Like, uh, I'm amazed to hear and see your bio. So, tell us about yourself. How is it? Hi, Krishna. How is the weather there in Bhopal? Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, pretty uh, winter has started. Like, so I love winter. So it's amazing. <laughs> Not so sunny. Uh, firstly, I want to thank the IC Tales for inviting me to this interview. To Spursh also, and thank you for uh, having me here. It feels pleasure to be here. I am really looking forward to an amazing conversation. Yeah. So, a uh, very grateful insight, and even I'm excited to hear and know about your journey. So, let's get begin. So, my first question to you is that you have written a book which is named as you're the writer of your story. So, tell us something about your story. What inspired you to become an author while chasing your dream towards becoming a scientist? Uh, initially, Kushbu, it was my experiences that uh, inspired me to write this story. Uh, I remember it was lockdown, and I was just, uh, you know, uh, I was just clueless about what next. I didn't have much work at that time, so I started writing randomly on random topics. I told one of my friend, I asked him to assign me any topic, like on which I could write something, something like a fictitious. Something fiction related thing. So I started writing, and then I uh, I realized that I was enjoying that thing, like the writing uh, journey. I was enjoying it a lot. You know, when you have the power to create something uh, from your imagination, and that feels like great that you have a character, you can create something out of it. You uh, like you have the power that where this uh, character will go, what he will do, what he will create. So that was amazing. The power. And uh, my experiences, I have had a fair share of experiences in my life. So I wanted to uh, express myself through writing. And I, when I realized that I was enjoying this, I thought, why not? Uh, there is like two benefits of uh, there were two benefits of it for me. I could express myself better, and I could create something so, uh, so that it could help other person dealing with the same problem. So initially. These were the two things that inspired me to write this book. Wow, what a lovely introduction! Like, I mean, it's a really very good that you are chasing your dream towards becoming a scientist, but then you are an author, so it creates a really grateful impact on you know young minds and blood. That yes, while chasing for your dreams, you can also follow your passion. So I like that thing about you that you wrote your passion while chasing to become a scientist. Really, very amazing. My second question to you is that. Tell us about your journey. What all obstacles did you come across in your journey, and how did you overcome that? Okay, so when I decided to write this book, uh, actually, I I tell you that the, uh, the my book, my first book, yeah, the writer of your story, was supposed to be a short story. Like I was not planning on to write a whole book because at that time I. Uh, I was not believing in myself that I could write a book. Actually, that is a 200 to 300 pages long, which is a huge thing. So I didn't have enough confidence in me that I could write it. So I was planning on to write a short story. But when I was writing it, so uh, I have uh, when I had written almost 120 pages. So at that time, my story was halfway. I could not even write the whole story at that time, and the pages were were already one hundred twenty. So I thought to myself that uh, no, this is uh, like this is not a short story. It is one hundred twenty pages already, and the story is still halfway. I have a lot to convey. I have a lot to share. So that's when I decided, that, okay, this is going to be a book, and I am going to write a book. Uh, at that time, I didn't know much about the publishing process and all that. I had to, you know. Uh, I had to research a lot about this thing, that how the process works, how the process gets initiated, and all that thing. Uh, the challenges, I would say, that uh, when I decided that okay, I'm going to write a book, so the challenge was that uh, the first thing in my mind was that okay, if I am writing this book, then this book should convey its message 
to the readers very like uh, in a very effective manner you know we all want that if we are doing something then we should do it with all our heart that to the motive of for doing it should get to the readers so uh, the you know i wanted my story to be relatable to everyone who is reading it we all are in the same situation or more or less we all are in the same situation we all faces the same similar kind of issues like uh, we all get attached to someone then uh, uh, we all are uh, you know uh, in in the situation of self doubt we all when uh, a particular uh, unfortunate incident happens or a person our life so we all are in the that situation of doubting ourselves we all find it difficult to you know fight against it so that was my thing that i wanted my book i wanted my story to be relatable but at the same time i didn't want to uh, it to be like every other story like very plain and monotonous like a you know a typical love story a guy and a girl meet one of them cheats the other one suffers i did not want that i wanted it to be inspiring i wanted it to be inspiring enough uh, like i wanted if i could even change, uh, i could change even a single life through my book then my motive was like successful i was successful in writing it so this was the challenge the challenges after uh, after knowing about the publishing process so uh, uh, everything was like quite smooth my publisher my publishing house uh, has been doing his job uh, their job really well my project manager was really supportive the whole team was really supportive so publishing process uh, in the publishing process i did not face any kind of issues yeah what a lovely insight you know i would like to say that the best thing you can wear is your confidence just like you said the confidence is the best accessory you can ever wear confidence helps us to build us more gratefully in our lives and to grow more beautifully why because confidence is one thing which can lead from here to here so that's really great and amazing to hear that that you face a lot of obstacles but since you never gave it up on them so th- that is a like beautiful part of it so my third question to you is that in the next few years where would you like to see yourself um, as you know i am a chemical science student i am currently studying to become a scientist i aspire to become a scientist so in the next few years i i want to see myself as a successful scientist first because that's my passion like writing is just my hobby uh, which i followed but to to uh, to become a scientist is my passion so i want to see myself as a successful scientist maybe working in my lab on a some crazy experiment and second thing uh, like being a writer myself as a best selling author of at least one book in future wow great i wish you all the best for your future and for uh, obviously for becoming a scientist and uh, i really want to see you a great scientist uh, at an you know isro or nasa where you can perform really really very well all the very best to you my that gives me goosebumps really <laughs> thank you so no, much i really <laughs> wish to see because uh, in the future even i would like to say now that uh, i took the interview of that personality you know so yeah, that yeah. Uh, really uh, gives me a great pleasure in saying that and i wish you all the best thank you thank so, you so much my next question to you is that as your book uh, you know as your first book received a lot of praise and support do you plan on writing another book or if you want to do so then what would the, what would be the genre or idea you would like to write around uh definitely i want to write a few more books i am planning on to write them but uh, uh initially i want i am waiting for some things to happen like i am waiting for my career to be stable enough so that i can uh, you know completely focus on my books because once i start writing now there is no like uh, i my whole attention from every other thing gets shifted to my writing only so i don't want that to, so once my career is stable enough so i am planning on to write uh, a few more books after that and uh, talking about the genre uh, it would definitely be uh, fiction because uh, you know uh, like i said that i love creating things <laughs> i just you know love the feeling when you create something out of your imagination and 
you have the power that where this is going and like when i was writing my book so uh, at uh, at some point of time i was like you know this uh, this is not working like this, this should not be the situation so uh, so i thought uh, like at that point of time uh, i told myself like okay you are the writer you can change it if you are not liking it then okay change it so that power i like that thing that you have the power to create everything so it will be a fiction uh, on some day maybe in after 10 or 15 years i want to write a non fiction too uh, first uh, uh, so that by that time i would have enough experience to write a you know really good book in non fiction genre wow amazing like i would love to read all your books and definitely i will uh, you know going to read also that book which you wrote is you are the writer of your own story which will inspire me as well as a young you know young blood or youngster you can say that it will help many other youngsters to you know grow up in their life and move forward so very best to you and i'm waiting to read all your books and see um, definitely seeing you seeing you at isro or nasa definitely one day <laughs> becoming a very popular scientist all the very best my next question to you is that you also know a different language uh, which is called spanish and uh, would you like to tell us particular line in spanish that has a meaning which you really hold on into your life uh yeah thank you for asking this question a lot of people don't actually know that i uh, know spanish although i am not fluent in it but you can call me lingophile i love learning languages uh, i started i started learning ukrainian and russian too i know how to read ukrainian and russian but uh, you know after some time i i got caught up with a few things so i had to drop the course there but to uh, us about spanish i know a lot about spanish like if you drop me in spain for a day i would definitely be able to survive so in spanish the one line that stayed with me and um, that holds a special place is uh, the line reach lo que es tuyo nunca te pasará i know it sounds funny but uh, the english translation to this line is what is yours will never pass you by so the meaning of this line is really beautiful like whenever i am in a situation when i feel like losing control over the situation or or i feel like that the situation is not going to be under my control or the outcome of it is not going to be under my control so i remind myself like uh, that okay if it belongs to me it will be mine eventually and if it doesn't it will not to be with me uh, like any at any point of time so there is no point in worrying about those things if they belong to you they will be with you if they don't then there is no point of, uh, no matter what you do no matter how you do it it will never be with you it's eventually a part of life that god has made so even god says that whatever is meant for you is meant for you it will not be given to anyone else so it should be followed by like every person that what is meant for you is for you and that is the great thing uh, which i like that you uh, spear, you know translated that line from spanish to english and i love the way you you know spoke uh, spanish so even if you didn't even told us na ki that you are not a spanish a fluent spanish speaker so i would not even be able to judge you even i for me you are a, a fluent spanish speaker so that's so sweet of you thank you So my next question to you is that do you want your each book to stand on its own or you will be trying to build a body of work with connections between each book Um definitely I want my each book to stay uh, stand on its own the reason uh, um, behind this is you know when you one book su- uh, get successful so some writers like uh, i am not uh, blaming them for it or uh, anything it's just my opinion that uh, if your one books get successful and the story is beautiful enough you don't need a sequel to it or a prequel to it like most of my friends who have read the, my book you are the writer of your story they want a sequel to it and many of my friends have told me that uh, you must write it sequel to it about to okay like what has happened to them after the story ended but uh, every time they uh, tell me this i replied them that uh, 
the sequel to this story is not possible because it will gonna completely ruin the essence like the essence of friendship in them they want a sequel they want their story more but uh, i think it is their happily ever after and nothing could you know add more to it like uh, their story is complete on its own and i don't want to write a sequel to it for my future uh, work also i don't believe in prequels and sequels i definitely want all my books to stand on its own wow what a lovely insight and i hope that all your motivations will inspire many other people who who wants to become author or who are in you know training of becoming an author so i hope that all your wonderful insights will help them becoming a very great and you know powerful authors in their life so my next question to you is that the process of publishing your book is not always easy did publishing your first book change the process of writing Uh, certainly the publishing process is not always easy but for me it was easier than the first uh it didn't change the process of writing but yeah it still uh, certainly gave me some experiences and lessons that uh, i should keep in mind uh when uh, i'll be publishing my next book because you know uh the success of your book is entirely dependent on the publishing house the effort team the uh, team is putting in the effort your project manager is putting in the uh, effort they are uh, putting in to create a book out of your manuscript initially when you submit them it is a manuscript it is just a manuscript and then uh, it is their effort that create a book out of it so pub- uh, selecting a you know a good publishing house is very very crucial for us su- for the success of a book uh it didn't change the process of writing not for me but uh, yeah the lessons are with me very grateful like if the lessons are with you then it will definitely help you grow much more better and i said that definitely one day you will become a very successful woman <laughs> all the very best my next question to you is that uh, what was the best money you ever spent as a writer uh, you mean the best money i spent after becoming an author or in the process like obviously after becoming an author okay so i think as a reader as a writer as an author the best money i spend all the time is on my books like uh, i read a lot i am i have always been into reading i read a lot of non fictions i read a lot of fictions too i read a lot of self help books too so every single penny i spend on buying books is worth spending for me okay wow that is also a great insight and obviously the first money which you have earned on your own and if you spend you know keeps a very touching part uh, matlab in your heart it is a very yeah. touchy thing which you have ever done because why it is the first money which you have ever earned and spent so even yeah i have yeah. So, you know feel the same thing so my next yeah, i would like to add that uh, you know uh, the first uh, uh, money that uh, i i have earned through uh, this book is uh, i have spent that money on buying my own book like i have uh, i had my 3 to 4 copies of my book at that time but i wanted to buy my own book going on amazon like that feeling of clicking on the buying button buy this option uh through my own money with my hard earned money so uh, the first thing i done i remember is that uh, i bought my own book going on amazon like it was a great feeling yeah it will actually be a great feeling because a lot of hard work and potential has gone into it so one day it will be worth it So my next question to you is who is the person behind your success today I don't know if people are going to judge me for the answer to this question but the person behind my success the first credit i want to give is to myself because uh, i feel that most of the times in life we uh, neglect to you know ourselves we don't appreciate ourselves much in life i i truly feel this line that we don't appreciate ourselves much in life and that is the reason behind all the miseries all the stress all the anxiety 
to first thing i have learned in the process of writing this book and the, from the story of kiara that you must appreciate yourself first before wanting everyone to do so like you have heard it in jab we met like the aap apne favorite to hona hi chahiye so in the process i have learned ki main apni favorite pehle main khud ko credit pehle dungi before everyone else so firstly i want to give credit of my success today whatever what i am today to myself then a few of my friends my sister actually uh, she always supported me to write this book she always motivated me to, you know a uh, keep the uh, keep this journey on and a few of my very close friends who have always been there for me wow that is a very very you know wonderful insight that you should keep yourself first actually in the you know in the very busy schedules of our life today whether it's a girl or a boy men or a women we actually don't give credits to ourselves and you know we give credit to like our you know relatives our friends so we should you know uh, make ourselves priority first and then others that is the uh, very best thing which i like today and you uh, you know speak it out of um, you know very confidently you speak it out and i love the way you speak it because many people you know don't even shatter to give credit to them, themselves they are like family members or relative or you know friends or anything but yeah we should consider ourselves as a priority and i love that in fact uh, uh, in the dedicated section like every book has that one page in which the writer uh, writes that who uh, he or she is dedicating to this book to i have written there that dedicated to the fighter within us like i really wanted to dedicate it to you know everyone who is fighting in some situation everyone who is going through some challenging phase in his or her life i really wanted it to be with them wow that was a very lovely thing and i love the conversation with you and hope you also did it like it was a very great platform talking to you here and hope you also enjoyed the session it was actually a great time knowing about your journey your feeling towards becoming an author writing things and everything and i love the way you introduce yourself your struggle your obstacles everything and was overall a very great healthy conversation i would like to say thank you so much i enjoyed the session with you.